What are people doing on the internet across Africa? Are they searching for prices for crops? Are they reporting malaria outbreaks? This is always the kind of do-gooder things that we're all excited about on the internet. Um, yeah, sure, maybe they're doing some things like that, but what they're actually doing is they are on Google. This is very slow clicking. Facebook, if, if we can just click this slide all the way forward, I'm not sure. Twitter, Wikipedia, local newspapers. So what are, they, what are they doing online? They're doing exactly the same thing that we're doing. Um, and I think this is the mental shift that I want people to have. If you're thinking about the internet in the developing world and you're thinking about this sort of do-gooder development model, great, that, all that kind of stuff is going to happen, it is happening, but there's something else really, really interesting. What you need to know, if we can go forward, I think my clicker is, uh, if we think forward 20 years about massive connectivity, uh, to the real internet for hundreds of millions of people just in Africa. Uh, well, keep in mind, these people don't necessarily speak English or French. The era when we can assume, uh, say in India, India is a good example. For many, many years in India, you could assume everybody who had a computer was on the internet. They pretty much all spoke English. This is no longer true there. Uh, the same thing is generally true today. Uh, everyone in Africa who is on the internet pretty much, to a, to a significant degree, speaks English or French. This is going to change very, very rapidly. Um, and so when we think about my work, imagine a world in which every single person on the planet is given free access to some of all human knowledge. We've always been uh, extremely linguistically diverse. And because I was going to Nigeria, I, I went and checked up on how the, Nigeria, uh, how the languages were doing across Africa. And Yoruba, which is the, one of the languages of Nigeria, now has 29,000 articles. I mean, this is pretty amazing to me. I had not been paying attention to Yoruba. Uh, that has more than doubled in the last year. So as we get that connectivity coming in, people immediately start working. They start doing things in their own languages. Uh, and this is just part of the natural evolution. And as I say, they're, they're doing exactly the same kind of things that we did, uh, which is they start working on their Wikipedia. Swahili, 23,000. Afrikaans, which is really a, a colonial language. It's Old Dutch, essentially, uh, 22,000. But the truth is, beyond these three languages, uh, most of the languages of Africa are very, very tiny. We have maybe 1,000 articles in two or three more languages, and the rest are very, very tiny. So there is a long way to go. Uh, but the numbers that I'm seeing in terms of masses of people coming online uh, convince me that it's almost time, that it's going to start happening very, very quickly. So the conclusion of all this is that the story of the internet in Africa in the next 20 years is not a story about charity, it's not a story about subsistence farmers, it's not a story about SMS. Uh, what it is, it's a story about normalization and joining the global conversation. It's about a rising middle class.